If you're in Scottsdale and you want some nom, hit up scottsdalerestaurants.com. You're not gonna pan down on it, you're just going right at us, Miguel. Fine. Oh, and welcome for another video review. What are we doing today? We're at Sip Coffee and Beer Garage. Some of you guys know the house. This is the garage. It's right here, 36 and Indian School. Different food fair. Yeah, they've, add, they've added some stuff to the menu. They got a lot more beers. They got a lot more, uh, especially cocktails. Yep. It's a great spot for a brew, for a business meeting, or just some, you know, hangouts with your bros. Oh, a little three Bs. First impressions, you walk in, it's lively. People are working, people are chatting, people are smiling, people are laughing, people are you're going about ready to enjoy some drinks. So I really like the atmosphere, it's fantastic. Yeah. This is the Perch Rosemary IPA, local beer. That's interesting, I really like that. It's a little more mild, not as hoppy as IPAs usually are, but that's really unique. It's really light, that rosemary is awesome. You gotta try this. So I went off menu item, they make it the best. Anywhere, like I've, I've tried to duplicate it other other spots. The Sip guys have this thing dialed in. Their ginger beer is oh, it's so good. They do like a ginger syrup. Yeah, this beer is definitely on the more tart end yeah. of the Y spectrum. Not my normal go-to, yeah. but this is actually really tasty. You want to venture off from your normal like Hefeweizen, why not? Give this has uh, give this has a uh, try. This is gonna get dirty. Please edit this properly. Oh, that is delicious. Excellent. Tangy flavor. All the ingredients just something just oozing out. And we come with these little potatoes here. They're amazing, I'm not gonna lie. I already had like five. I have the pleasure of doing the artichoke dip, which I already dove into. It's creamy, a little bit of cilantro, big artichoke chunks in there. This is a fantastic starter. This is a vegan dish. Got two kinds of hummus on the side. Both of those are spicy. Wow. Like, really? not even just, oh, yeah. that's kind of, yeah. that's. Spicy. <laughs> <laughs> really fresh, great flavors. Try that. It's got smoked cheddar and gouda in it. We add some jalapenos and some sausage in there. The jalapeno comes through a little bit, and that gouda. I know there's a lot of cheese lovers out there. Highly recommend you come try this. Look at how clean that is. You never get a Reuben that clean. That is beautiful. Fantastic sauerkraut. Reuben sometimes with either with your pastrami or corned beef, whatever, can be a little bit sloppy, a little bit on the fattening side. This is more clean, and um, the sauerkraut is the real deal here. It's got Angus beef, some bacon, Havarti cheese, arugula. The arugula on there is a nice touch. That's super tender, fresh meat, great flavor. That's one of the better burgers I've had. <laughs> Final thoughts, Chris. Food coma and puppies. Yes. This place is amazing. The steal of the show to me was honestly like the atmosphere, the vibe. They have breakfast here too. Yes. They serve breakfast um, all day, but then on top of that, they have like amazing yeah. coffee. Definitely pop by, sip coffee and beer garage. Give yourself a little tune up. Show them what you yeah. are. Throw your thumbs up. Throw your thumbs up. And you don't have really that bad of, look at my thumb, look at this. Thumbs up. It's worse than your nose. It's terrible.